Today we are making a loaded baked potato and broccoli soup and it is delicious. We got our broccoli, we got our chopped up taters, we got a whole onion, we got a handful of garlic, we got about six slices of fried bacon, short cheddar. I don't know how much, we'll figure that out as we go. And since I have this little bit of mozzarella left over, we're throwing that in too, just for good measure. This is homemade chicken broth. Y'all remember when we did the tamales? Check out the tamales. When we did that uh, and boiled the chicken, I kept all of the chicken broth in my little baggies with two cups in each baggie and froze it up. I'm gonna throw some heavy cream in. Of course, we're gonna have the goat butter with the flour. And then of course, Mr. Dan Pastorini's, Mr. Gumbo Daddy's, I mean, peppery salt. And probably sprinkle some parsley flakes on top. I am melting about a quarter of a cup of the good goat butter that I love three tablespoons of regular plain old flour and just brown it up a little. I'm not, this is not, I would not consider this an actual roux. It's gonna be very light. We're not gonna get it dark and thick like a penny. Need more liquid, I need more butter. Okay, so I did not have quite enough liquid in here. I, 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 so I could have gone either way, put more butter in, but I went ahead and put the chicken broth in. Now I'm gonna throw in one whole chopped up onion. Uh, about a handful, quarter a cup or so of garlic. I'm gonna stir this around a little. Uh, I'm not cooking them very long. I'm just just stirring them around in the in the butter. It's more for seasoning the butter and all of that. Got the onions just a little on the translucent side. Did not cook them too long. And now I am adding the chicken broth a little bit at a time, so that I can get it stirred up good, so that I don't have lumpy soup. I would say maybe a cup at a time, give or take. I just feel like it's easier when you're mixing it like this. All right, guys, we have got all the chicken soup, chicken broth added. Now, you know, um, I'm just kind of making this up how I go along, so no measurements are exact. I don't know how it's going to go yet. We're going to find out. As we got to get some spices in this, or it is not going to be tasty at all. So, of course, we've got our Dan Pastorini's and my favorite gumbo daddies that is so delicious. Now, this is going to depend how spicy or not you want it. Uh, and uh, the ghost chili pepper salt. And I'm gonna put a couple of big pinches of this in there. I'm gonna do the all important taste test and see where we are with this. I'm gonna call that good for now. The, I'm gonna shake soup all over the place. Just got a little bit of kick and very tasty. So next thing's next, I'm adding the potatoes. And once we've got it at a good boil, I'm going to turn it down to simmer and put my timer on for about 10 minutes, give or take. We don't want them to turn to complete mush. All right, we've been boiling these bad dogs for about 10 minutes. Now we are putting in about three heads of broccoli. You know, if you want more, use more. If you don't want that much, don't use that much. It's kind of your call and we're just going with the flow here. Okay, guys. Now, when I was pulling the bacon bits out to add, I noticed I had about half a can of leftover chicken broth, so I'm putting that in for the sole purpose of making it go away. The mozzarella here, it's going in because this is all I have left and it needs to get used up because sometimes that just happens. You can go in there and take everything out your fridge and get rid of all the old stuff. Put it in a casserole. Then the other thing we're putting in here is the sharp chip. I'm gonna have to go one handful, two handfuls. Let's see where we are. All right guys, time for a taste test. I guess I put in about two cups of cheese, give or take, and we boiled the broccoli for about 10 minutes. Let's see how we have done. That is fairly tasty. I think I wanna put some cream in it though, I really do. I think, because it's got more of the, the, especially the broccoli and cheese has a creamier texture to it. Mm, that's about half. And I think it could probably stand to have a little more. Cheddar. Cheddar. Um, that, that's about a cup. 32 ounce bag, so I'm gonna go with probably about 16 ounces in there. We're about ready to plate it, huh? Just about, it is just about perfect. Uh, I can't think of any possible way you could make this keto friendly because um, it's potato soup. I don't think you could really use cauliflower in this. But check out the delicious low-carb quesadillas I made the other day. Cook, skydive, have fun, give back. No, 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 she wolfist.